In just three weeks, New York State is taking a big step in an attempt to rein in the skyrocketing cost of prescription drugs. It's part of a plan to carve out the state's Medicaid program and transition to a new model. That model is called NYRX. This will affect millions of New Yorkers who are now on Medicaid. But members of one health-related organization tells 13 Investigates Tessa Bentul and why this could be life or death for their patients. She joins us now with that part of her Medicaid carve out series. Tessa. Elaine, lawmakers and state health leaders are boasting about the positive changes that will evidently help Medicaid patients, but this local HIV and AIDS center says the Medicaid carve out is going to take away money from them, making it harder for them to help such a vulnerable population. Roughly 111,000 people live with HIV in New York State, and about 50 of them live here. The Albany Damien Center, a place that's designed to improve the lives of those affected by the virus. The Damien Center changed my whole life around. I was homeless. I was addicted to drugs for quite a few years. I got really sick and ended up getting an amputation. When the time was right, I ended up here. And it's been so good ever since. Monica Casalino and Frank Travis say they consider this place as a safe haven. But the Damien Center's executive director, Perry Junjulis, says nearly a quarter of his three and a half million dollar budget is going to be slashed. He says he will be forced to cut some of the Damien Center's life saving programs that have made this place home for Travis and Casalino. It's not just cutting off services. It's cutting off services to people who have been disproportionately marginalized over the years. Why are we doing it still? The fact that I'm going to have to not house as many people and, and make a choice as to which meals they're going to get. I just... I, I need I need someone and enough and a what I call it a white horse to come in and save us because I just I I don't want to. The Damien Center is a 340B program. It's a federal program that has been around since the early 90s. It's designed to sell prescription drugs at a discounted rate to healthcare organizations that care for high-risk communities who are uninsured and have low income. It allows facilities to use their savings and provide additional essential services. We've used these savings um, to house, feed, provide mental health counseling, pharmacy support, Support, medication adherence, transportation, the list kind of goes on. The 340B program is getting rolled back once New York State starts managing its own plan under NYRX starting April 1st. The Medicaid carve out is designed to reduce prescription drug costs by merging the state's purchasing power, meaning New York State's health department will directly administer pharmacy benefits. Assemblyman John McDonald also is a licensed pharmacist. He says the 8 million Medicaid patients in the state will benefit from NYRX, including the 250,000 on 340B. What this program does is it gets away from the way I see programs today as a practicing pharmacist. A lot of formulary exclusions, a lot of drugs not covered, a lot of prior authorizations, which can be delaying patient care. But Junjulis says he's had conversations with the state about his concerns. He says he feels like no one's listening. He says the budget cuts threaten care for HIV and AIDS patients. If it wasn't for this place, I don't think I know what I would be right now or what I'd be doing or if I'd still be alive. The Damien's have saved my life. I've been able to work on my mental health issues. I've been encouraged and I've been congratulated and I've been lifted up by the staff and the members. And we need that, you know, because lots of times our self-esteem doesn't allow us to believe that. New York's Medicaid director tells us why those HIV patients won't be without a safety net. But tomorrow night, you'll find out why the director also understands why it's hard for the Damien Center and the executive director to trust the state on that. 